my sister brought Rachel home and yeah and then like she, she just started becoming a part of the furniture really She's from Taiwan, I speak a little bit of Chinese Un viaje que hicimos con Cecilia a Australia en el año 2012 En las mismas condiciones de amor También la conocimos, la conocí en el viaje A 2010 Mardi Gras and I was with feathers, wings, and full of glitter. I didn't know she was coming, but then we found out that she's there. Oh, okay. I always knew that she exists by Facebook. I always saw uh, her on Omid's Facebook with picture, etc. But I, yeah, I even didn't know if it was, she was real because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm not sure when I met Rachel, it's a bit hard this one. Now she, she's my sister, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> eh, le gustaban mucho los animales. And I can't even remember how many kids we had at the time. Wait, who are we talking about? Aún no la conozco. Late one night clubbing. They were watching Formula One and oh. I asked Omid, does she actually like Formula One? And he was like, yeah. So he probably hit jackpot there, because nobody likes Formula 1. I met Rachel through high school, um, when she was a little geek with Harry Potter glasses <laughs> on. We were sitting in the living room so, uh, of Tia Bruni's house, watching something on the TV, and he started talking in English uh, on his phone. I didn't listen to him, I was watching, and then I started to listen because he, he started to say, Oh, you naughty girl. <laughs> Naughty girl, and I would, and just look at him like, hello, I can understand English, you naughty girl, and that's how I met Rachel. De paso iban hacia Viña y aprovecharon de pasar por por mi casa para para conocerla a ella. I don't, I didn't meet really Rachel the first time. I can't remember, but what I do remember is when Omid was first telling me about her when they started dating. So yeah, he was telling me. Like, there's this girl, they shared the same interests, and, you know, I was just pretty excited about it, so it sounded like he was, he was pretty into her, and it was, yeah, that's the first time I heard about her. Desde que nació, porque en ese tiempo, el, ellos, su familia, vivíamos muy cerca. And obviously I've known Omid since he was a little kid. En la casa de Quilpue, en la casa del Sol, del barrio El Sol. Era un bebé, bueno, lo conocí cuando la Marlene lo trajo a la casa. Y un bebé lindo, muy lindo. I never met Omid. Omid met me because he was already alive. I want to hold him and they they give it to me, but I remember like a hundred hands holding with me the baby. I actually cannot remember when I met Omid. That's the honest answer. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I don't think I remember. <laughs> Yo lo conocí por unas fotos que mandó Marlene desde Australia. No, ya estaba grande, tenía como siete años. He went to pick Rachel up from a club when Rachel had trouble finding her way home. And we're thinking, uh, what a nice guy, because he came and picked up all his cousins in Perth so he could drive them all down to Freer Markets and have a nice day. I was like, that's a pretty good guy because he's come from Sydney in his hire car as a guest and he's driving everyone else around. <laughs> so, Older cousin pays. El 97. Y estuvo como un mes de vacaciones acá. Rachel say, I'm heading home now. A friend is picking me up. And I was like, who's this friend? So there's this random guy in a car and Rachel just jumped to the car Acá en la casa de Uruguay. Yo me acuerdo que cuando vino al 97, siempre le ganaba al Mario Kart, <laughs> de Super Nintendo. He used to take turns in taking him up and down. He loved going up and down the stairs. Cuando él recibió su primer chupete, yo sé quién se lo regaló. Y ahora no me acuerdo bien si lo usó, pero sé quién se lo regaló. Ese es un, un lindo recuerdo. Bueno, se lo regaló Wandita. It's when I was like four years, something like that, and my mother and Marlene asked me to convince me, convince me to bring him my dummy, 
was horrible, horrible, horrible. But they say, you are young enough, you are, you're older than him, he needed, so you need to bring your dummy to him. Un gusto que me llamó mucho la atención, que le gusta el té en hoja. When, a, when Omid was seven years old, he asked me, what did I do with all Fatima's money? And I have to tell him in detail what I did. He came to <laughs> Perth and taught his innocent little cousin how to, you know, roll joints and smoke the... <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we were badass and we broke into my parents' pantry and we found some dried herbs. <laughs> And we rolled it up and uh, yeah, we were just like, yeah, my. It was so just... you guys basically smoked dried parsley leaves that yeah. Walter uses for his salad. Yeah. So. <laughs> FYI, no effects, <laughs> and it was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mummy, do you want a glass of wine? Doctor, how much money do you earn? If not enough, you can take a job at Zurich Insurance with my dad. He earns a lot of money. I'm a Barbie girl. Y la cantabas. Y la escuchabas todo el día cuando fuiste a Chile. Hola, papi. ¿Cómo estás? And when I asked him, how was the game? He said, Welcome to Options Insight, where we take a look at derivative strategies with some of the guys from the Comsec Options Desk. Today I'm joined by Omen Shakabai, who's an exchange traded options dealer. Omen, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Steve. Let's look at quite a popular strategy, uh, the buy right. So tell us what a buy right is and what it's useful. Um, so a buy right is essentially um, a short term trading option uh, with clientele when you generally, after you meet them, you you wave and that's how you, you say buy. Essentially the confusion comes from some people using that term, but you're right. It's, yeah, that's, that's right. Happy wife is a life, man. I mean, just do whatever she says, because you're not gonna <laughs> get any better. La última palabra siempre la tiene el hombre y es sí, mi amor. Don't do it! Do it! Try and not worry about things that don't matter too much. Don't sweat the small shit. Eh, la comunicación entre ambos, tolerancia y paciencia. In life, whatever you want to do, you consult with each other. Se respeten y se quieren mucho siempre. The foundation should be based upon harmony and love, oneness relationship and union. Not to mention that both should be united physically and spiritually. It's not a straight line most of the time, and that's good. Cariño, tolerancia y respeto. Enjoy life and learn from your bad experiences because they are good at the Obviously, I'm going to be doing giving the advice bit because Pam only listens for this bit. <laughs> um, advice, I don't know, just I guess support each other. You can stop there, that was good enough. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, just, just man, support. man listens, wife. Wife is all the talking. Does, does, does. Happy wife, happy life, which I'm sure you will hear 20 times today. <laughs> I've never seen a guy chase after my sister for so long. Yeah, he's got a good. Yeah, he's got a good. Amit did well there. Good catch, I'd say. <laughs> well done, Amit. I'm, I wasn't expecting so much from you. Good job. <laughs> I think he's been a good influence on her. You, you guys work very well together. I think they're made for each other. Hopefully, you'll have very nice kids like us. I've never actually seen Rachel like happy with anyone else. Uh, when she speaks about Omi, she like yeah, to become one. Yeah, you didn't press the record. No, it's recording. All right. Yeah. Now, now it's got your voice saying you didn't press record. <laughs> okay. 
I'm not saying this just because they're standing next to me. Okay. Which one are the most wanted? Yes, yes. <laughs> In order of wantedness. So, Paris, you're number one. And can I get a big smile and a thumbs up? Lovely. You can stop there, that was good enough. <laughs>